Welcome to TwoFingerBanjo.com. I'm Matt Brown. Hi there, I'm in the international headquarters of TwoFingerBanjo.com, and I thought I'd give you just a little background as to how I came to love this style of banjo playing and learn to play it and start teaching it. So I was raised in southeastern Pennsylvania in a town called Westchester, and my dad, who's a really great old-time banjo player and singer and guitar player. He would play claw hammer, but also two-finger and three-finger banjo in his bands, but also around the house. And so I grew up knowing that there was more than one way to pick the banjo as an old-time musician. And the more I played fiddle, the more musicians I met from all up and down the eastern seaboard as well as across the country. And one of them was named Paul Brown. He's uh, not related as far as we know, but He's a fantastic source of, of knowledge and humor and wisdom and is my favorite living banjo player. And what I noticed is when I played with Paul, I was on fiddle, he would often switch between the different styles of banjo that I might have heard my dad, Tim, play when he played. And I found that every time Paul switched to a particular style, that my ears just perked up even more. And in asking Paul, I realized that it was the two-finger style. And... I would sometimes go visit him in Washington, D.C., where he was working for NPR News. And one of the tunes that I remember he would often play on banjo, two-finger style, and I'd play guitar usually, was Down the Road or Ida Red. And that song got stuck in my head, and, and the kind of angular and uh, sparse but beautiful sound of him playing that two-finger style just, just took over my... Uh, my banjo curiosity and I hadn't really played much banjo but I, I went home and I tuned my banjo to either double C or double D and for a couple months would was just trying to to replicate what Paul played and I don't think I ever asked him specifically to show me note for note what he did but I tried to just conjure up what he what he played and that was my first two finger tune and I was maybe in my mid teenage years and I'd heard some other great two-finger banjo players, um, family, friends. The Double Decker String Band was made up of a number of great banjo players. Um, Craig Johnson and Bruce Hutton and Bill Schmidt. I think probably John Beam also plays the banjo too. Um, but I've heard, heard them play banjo and um, so many of the great old-time musicians who we'd encounter at festivals they'd play claw hammer but also two finger and i feel like subsequently i've met all these people who think that claw hammer is maybe the only old time style and are surprised that there are old time two and three finger picking styles that predate bluegrass and and informed earl scruggs and his creation of of the bluegrass style and and don reno too and probably jd crow and all these all these guys um but anyway, fast forward i i moved to chicago in the fall of 2011 and the first job I had there was teaching at the Old Town School of Folk Music, an introduction to the banjo class that included a couple of weeks of two-finger banjo. And that was really fun to get to try and put together a course of, of how, to, how to get people started. And I realized that two-finger seemed to be the easier style compared to claw hammer and three-finger, which, which for the bluegrass style you play with picks, that two-finger was a little bit more intuitive. And so I with the help of my administrator, Chris Walls, at the Old Town School, created a two-finger banjo level one class where for eight weeks people could, people who liked the intro class and liked the, the two-finger level, uh, two-finger weeks um, in the intro class, they could spend eight weeks just playing two-finger banjo. And then that went well enough that we created level two and level three and eventually level four. And over the seven and a half years I was there, I probably showed hundreds of people um, between the intro classes and then the two-finger classes, how to play two-finger banjo. And what I noticed and what they noticed is that there wasn't a great place to go to learn more about two-finger banjo. Um, it's, been, it's been referenced in a number of books, and there are so many great players who've, who've played this way. Um, some of my favorites include Roscoe Holcomb, who a lot of people have heard of for his singing. Um, but I met a banjo player years ago, um, Marvin Gaster, who was a great, great two-finger 
player, and, and I met him through my first fiddle teacher, Palm, Palmer Laux, back in Pennsylvania. Um, but subsequently learned so many great fiddle players, like Chirp Smith um, is a great two-finger player, and Fred Campo, both in the Midwest. Um, but there wasn't really a place for a student not in Chicago or a student at the Old Town School who wanted to learn more to go to learn a lot more about two-finger banjo. And so the idea for this website um, was created. And my hope is that with all of the videos and tabs that we put here over the years, and if there's enough support through the Patreon page, people chipping in a couple dollars a month or more if they have it, um, that we'll be able to expand this and maybe even I could inter interview some of my heroes like Paul Brown um, or those, those um, guys from the Double Decker String Band, um, any number of, of banjo heroes of mine, and that we can make this the hub on the internet for people who are curious about this style for years to come and anywhere in the world, especially those of you who don't have access to, to a teacher. Um, I teach this style in private lessons to students in Denver right now as well as online to students all over the world and if you want to if you want to try that reach out to me and uh, we could set up a lesson but mostly I want this website to be for people who can't afford a lesson or aren't quite ready for that and just want to try their hand at a very easy uh, initially but very approachable um, complete style of banjo playing that's good for playing fiddle tunes but also good for those of you who like to sing or who have a singer that you'd like to accompany. So I hope that's helpful and uh, reach out to me through the website, twofingerbanjo.com or through the Patreon page if you're a, if you're a donor. Um, if you have any further questions or if there's anything you'd like me to, to talk about in future videos. Thanks.